What's up, Toes? Cam Harder 101 here, and I am super hyped for Season 4 of MLP, Friendship is Magic. And to celebrate that, we're going to look at a bunch of different posters and prints, and funny enough, they are all 11 by 17 inches, so uh, let's see what happens. So we'll start with the more simpler ones, and this is... And these four that I'm going to show you, they're all from Walmart. They're an old, old promotional-like thing that Walmart had going on, like right after Season 2 ended, uh, where if you bought an MLP item, you got one of these posters. I actually didn't get them from Walmart. I got them from eBay for $10 for all four. So I'd say it was a really good deal and because um, they're uh, maximum quality. They look really good, and they're straight from Hasbro, so everything here is like Canon, like the map here is canon and it just looks really good and like you saw the villains poster looked really good had all the villains and i'd like to see more of these i mean maybe they're just going to release a few every even number season like they release some after season two maybe they'll do some after season four and i would really just love to see an Equestria Girls one with sort of a group shot of all the Equestria Girls characters, all the background characters, uh, the villains, uh, the Prince Principal Celestia, Vice Principal Luna. I'd love to see all those. Like I really like this one, the group photo of all the Season 2 characters, whether, whether they be good or bad. Uh, there's a bunch of them in there, so... You got Discord and his statue, and you know, you got uh, Pond 3 and Octavia right there. You got the main six scattered throughout the picture. You got Colgate right there next to uh, Barry Punch and Luna and the CMC, and it's just all sorts of uh, MLP goodness all smashed together in 11 by 17 inches. So, uh, next thing we're going to look at, I found at a comic book store, and I was like, holy balls, must buy. So uh, I didn't go in looking to buy anything, and then I found this. I'm like, yes. So um, this is just, uh, it was all foiled up, and this was on the back. So it shows you the prints that you get. There are a bunch of different covers from the uh, MLP series so far. Um, and then a little description just saying, like, some of the favorite MLP covers in 11 by 17 prints. Uh, and like why wouldn't you get a uh, print for every room of your house and stuff like that and, uh, it was twenty dollars and uh, oh and I didn't mention before on the other uh, on these uh, these right here um, their Toys R Us is doing like a promotion where you could uh, win some of them and if that's still going on I'll throw a link in the description and also you can get them on Wheel of Fine as a special reward for buying a certain amount of uh, stuff so this one's really cool the way it's set up because it's a giant like folder and you gotta like unwrap it and pull out the prints so and they're really good quality they're nice they're like super laminated and just close that back up and flip through them okay so first one this was a cover for uh issue number 10 of mlp uh, the comic and I still haven't gotten a chance to read this one. I actually have this variant of the comic But I haven't read number nine and those two go together So I'm not like reading one before the other that wouldn't make any sense So this one's got a lot of the background ponies and it's really nice because if you if it's a fan favorite It's probably here and you probably like if you like a certain background pony. They're probably here. So I really like that and for me It's Colgate and she is present there in the corner. So Love the smile that they gave her. Okay, next one is Nightmare Rarity. Uh, I forget what number issue of Nightmare Rarity this is, but it is uh, one of the variants from the Nightmare Rarity arc. And it's got Rarity on the what I can assume is the moon, staring back at the Earth, and all, sa all sad. So, maybe she was banished by Celestia. Uh, this is my favorite uh, Twilight Sparkle micro series uh, cover. I haven't gotten a chance to like get that cover, and I don't know if I ever will, because I actually don't know where to get this, like where you could find this variant uh, specifically. But it looks really cool. It's very stylized and it looks very abstract art. Like uh, I'm I've just finished taking art history uh, as uh, one of my college courses, and we learned about all these different art styles. And uh, this one has a lot of those art styles. Like it's got the uh, you know abstract. It's got the whatever Picasso used, cubism, and all that stuff, and um, 
Uh, it's just really nice. I, I like it. I like the way Spike looks with the little beret. I like the way Twilight looks, smiling and winking. It's just a good, uh, good combination of a, a bunch of different art styles. Uh, this one is also from Nightmare Rarity. And uh, what you'll see is that they don't go all the way up to date with these because this portfolio came out, I'm assuming, uh, right before the uh, Princess Caden's Shining Armor arc came out, which was issues 11 and 12. So you're not going to get stuff from those issues. You're only going to get up to issue 10, which we saw that cover. And um, this is, again, like I said, from Nightmare Rarity. It's got uh, the main six just walking forward. I, I just really like the look of this one. It's not uh, exact Friendship is Magic art style, but it's very close. And it just looks really nice. It almost looks like it's a... Um, a parody of something else like a different like movie poster or something but I don't know exactly what it would be but it just it kind of gives off that vibe but um, it still looks really nice and it gives that ominous feel like uh, standing right under the moon and it just it looks nice and I forgot to mention but on the back there's not much but uh, they say that just says uh, MLP and it's got the particular artist that did that print like this one is Tony Fleeces so if that's how you pronounce it, I'm sorry if I pronounced it wrong. And um, then they just say this is a part of an eight print series of My Little Pony Friendship is Magic portfolio number one. So that's implying that they're going to be having more than one portfolio, which is pretty damn sweet. Next one on the list is Fluttershy. And this was from the Fluttershy micro series. It was one of the variant covers. I want to say it was uh, cover A, but I'm not exactly sure. I don't remember. Of the order of the covers but it looks really nice it's got the cinderella vibe uh, for sure you could tell i mean she's singing with all the animals she's in a fancy dress and um i don't know it's cool you got you get to really see all the different animals in their art style from friendship is magic this one's very much uh, mlp style except it's more shaded and uh, it kind of looks like a colored pencil in a way or uh, paint but it's not exactly flash style you could still see all the different animals and how they look in the show. Like you could see the fruit bat, which doesn't look like that in real life, but it's very stylized to look like Friendship is Magic. Uh, you got like the ferrets, the possums. Uh, I think I think that's what those are. They might be otters. I don't know. Um, or no, those are otters. That's probably like possum. And then you got bunnies. You got gummy tank. Uh, all the main six pets, squirrel. Uh, little birds and stuff so uh, this one looks really nice this is a very um like uh, it's a warm print i think it'd be cool like to put up in like a a girl's room or something so um i'll probably be putting up the uh which one was it the first one and the second one like the art history one and the uh whatever the first one was I, for, I forget already oh yeah the background ponies one uh this is a really cool one just because it's got just the main six uh, it's slightly stylized outside of the show, uh, but that's just like the artist's particular style, and it, it just looks good. It's a good group photo. It's got Pinkie Pie there at the top and being silly. You know, it's got everyone's sort of attitude. Like Fluttershy's got the warm smile. Rarity's got the eccentric, uh, eccentric smile. Rainbow Dash has got like the awesome attitude. Twilight's got the yeah, everything's okay, but I'm still smart smarter than everyone else so and then you got spike being all shy around rarity so uh it, it looks really nice uh this group shot and this is actually the um cover of I'm trying to think the last or the first issue of the nightmare rarity arc but it's also the cover of the volume of the nightmare rarity arc where you could get all four issues together so that's the one that i actually have and uh it, it, this is a good overall one so Next we have Princess Celestia and Princess Luna. This one is nice because it's the um, it's a Andy Price's art style, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, a Andy Price, and he's he just looks his prints look so good, and just like his work. I mean, he he's done I think issues one through 
uh, one, 1 through 12, if I'm not mistaken. He's done, like, the art for all of them. And, sorry, camera cut out there. It's just an amazing art style that I love to see. And I would have probably chosen a different one, not Celestia and Luna, just because I would like to have some, like, more main six action in there or maybe get a different particular pony. But um, it's nice to see that Celestia and Luna are getting some appreciation. And I don't... I want to say that this is from the Nightmare Rarity arc, but um, I don't exactly remember because it could be from a micro series that uh, I can't think of, but I doubt it because those I think came a little bit later, at least the Celestia and Luna ones. Like the Luna one's not even out yet, I don't think. So that's that. Uh, this is a really cool one. Uh, this is a Karate Kid, I want to say, <laughs> a Karate Kid spinoff. And with Pinkie Pie and Gummy, and I love this one. It's done in the same style as the uh, Twilight Sparkle Art History one. This is from the Pinkie Pie micro series, if I'm not mistaken, and it just looks really nice. It just you could it captures Pinkie Pie's like seriousness, like standing on the beam, and then Gummy's just like implicit I don't careness, and it's just uh, actually the artist behind those uh, the style of uh, artwork is Sarah Richard and they always they look really nice like you tell like the sky and the, like the water in this one it just it all it all like it all stands out and all looks nice and just looks really good so that's that for all the prints and I just want to say that once season four comes out I'm going to be reviewing that as I did for season three and I'll go back to like playing MLP Flash games and uh, doing commentaries over those of what I thought of the current episode. And uh, hopefully most of the time the game will relate to the episode in some way. Whether it be you're using a character where that, where that character was the focus of the episode or some, maybe it's something else. But I definitely want to get back into that because I was kind of afraid of what I was going to do in the... Uh, off season of MLP but then I got into this reviewing thing and that kind of took off but don't worry that's not going to stop because uh, you know MLP comics and other comics are still going to be coming out uh, the MLP trading card game uh, by Interplay is going to be releasing soon it got delayed a little bit but that's going to be coming out so the reviews aren't going to stop there's just going to be uh, or the merch reviews aren't going to stop there's just going to be like uh, show reviews in there as well and I doubt anyone's going to complain about that if you guys enjoy the reviews, I'm sure you'll enjoy me talking about the show as well. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys later. Camera Hoarder 1-1, out.